Hi guys, this is Tajaya. Welcome back to Fitness Recovery by Tajaya. We're now on to our third uh, stage, uh, which is going to be our three months post-op, which is a very big stage for us. So uh, thank you for tuning in and let's start talking about my experiences and uh, give you information that you may need for this uh, stage uh, that you're gonna go through or you're going through right now. Three months is a very important stage, not only for our boobs and our body, but also for our mindset or mentality. But once you reach three months, you know, you're starting to feel motivated, you're starting to feel more like yourself, you could do more things. So therefore, it's a big stage for us and for us to push our body or for us to um, go back into a great fitness journey um, before, because before the past few months, we have just been focusing on our lower body, but now we can actually start engaging our upper body and we could start off by listening to what our body actually is telling us. The healing process is going well. The boobs are dropping uh, fantastic. Uh, they're looking um, more natural. They're more attractive looking. They're more, they, they look like they fit my body. I got compliments. Um, people ask me if they're my real boobs. So like now I'm seeing what my boob would potentially look like in six to nine months. So this is a very important stage for us. Please welcome Coach Justin. Uh, he's again. back this week to help us demonstrate uh, workouts for our Stage three, which is going to be our three months uh, stage mark. So please do me the honors of welcoming Coach Justin. Hello again. Thank you for having me. As we know, this is a milestone. That is, your body is starting to take, you know, some comfort. You know, as much as dealing with maybe rare challenges. We're going to just add some little weight to our exercise. Now, the exercise we're doing today. If you're not comfortable using any type of weight, feel free to do it without a weight. It's very important. Again, your comfortability matters a lot. So four exercises we're doing today. The first one is going to be the sumo squats using a dumbbell. Our next exercise after that is going to be the pause squats. Again, using a dumbbell. Our third exercise is going to be a dumbbell half pistol squats. And our last exercise is our only abdominal for this set, which will be flutter kicks. Again, these four exercises should be able to allow you to carry on and also help you test the strength of your body during this process. So I will pass it again to Tajaya so we could begin the first exercise, which is the dumbbell sumo squats. So the first position is making sure that our legs are wide while holding your dumbbell in an inner grip facing your thighs. Your chest out so the body is aligned and you begin to take your body slowly to the ground. Again, look straight ahead of you for your posture as very important. Now you may use a heavier weight or a less heavier weight depending on how comfortable you feel carrying that weight. Remember that your form and range of motion is very important as we don't want to accrue any form of injury. This creates safety as you perform this exercise and you're also able to concentrate on the right muscle group. This is very important. As you take these portions, you'll be able to perform a perfect dumbbell sumo squats. Fantastic. So our next exercise is going to be the dumbbell pause squats. Now we're going to do two pauses. You could do three, four, depending on how comfortable you feel. But again, we want to take it from a very low end. And eventually, when you feel comfortable, you'll be able to increase your pauses. Using the dumbbell, Tajay is going to demonstrate to you how you perform a perfect pause squats. Now, it's very important that this weight you're holding it up. And the reason why you're holding it up, because at this time, you can slightly raise your hands. It also creates a better and comfortable resistance as you take it down. Try again not to bounce on your calves, but you also want to control that range of motion. It creates a very healthy tension for your quads, your glute muscle, and your hamstring. By performing this range of exercise and also holding that grip, you're allowing your upper body the right amount of tension that is required without creating any form of injury. If you perform this according to the instructions, 
you'll be able to have a very healthy and a perfect dumbbell for squats. Next up is going to be our dumbbell half pistol squats. It's important that you try not to go too low and that's why we call it half. Because carrying a dumbbell and standing on one foot can be a bit tricky where if you lose balance, it can cause some, con some kind of injuries. So it's very important you go halfway until you feel comfortable. So at this moment, I'm going to allow Tajair to perform the dumbbell half pistol squats. This is also important. If you notice, Tajair is going very low. Now, you don't have to go as low as she is. Okay, take your time. Again, we're trying not to incur any kind of injury while doing this. Make sure you also switch legs, it's important. The same amount of time you do on one, you also want to do on the other to, get, to be able to create the necessary balance that is required. Again, use as heavy weight as possible or as light weight as possible not to be able to create anything that will cause you some kind of discomfort. Now that's how you perform dumbbell half pistol squats. Our last exercise is going to be our abdominal choice. Now for this particular segment, we have chosen flutter kicks. I would allow Tajaya to get on the mat and show us how you perform a great flutter kick. So Tajaya has adopted position about to perform the flutter kicks. This is fantastic for your abdominal. Again, core is all we need to keep fit, to stay mobile, and also encourages and enhances our recovery process. Now, with your head slightly up, not on the mat, with your foot off the mat, you're able to move your feet up and down and across from each other. And I will allow Tajair to go ahead and perform flutter kicks. You notice her feet is up, she is taking her time. Let's try not to speed it as you would not be able to concentrate on the right muscle group. A core tight, the head is off the floor as you notice and she's fluttering as slow as possible thereby concentrating on your lower abdominal. We want to make sure you're safe in doing this. If you feel any form of pressure, you want to stop or reduce the repetition. And that is how you perform flutter kicks. I would like to take this time to thank Justin for demonstrating a stage three workout with me. Um, again, guys, please tune in for next, uh, to next week because we have our stage four uh, program next week. And I'm gonna have more things to talk about, more experience to share, uh, more questions that you could ask, or more questions I can answer, stuff like that. So please tune in uh, to next week and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And again, I'll see you next week. One love y'all.